Hi, welcome to another video. One application that I have covered quite in depth in two of my videos is Maestro. If you don't know, Maestro basically allows you to create great applications with the simplest of prompts because it uses agents. In Maestro's method, one orchestrator agent breaks down the prompt you give into multiple steps, which are then executed by sub-agents and subsequently refined and merged together. This method is particularly interesting because it works really well. You can see some of my previous videos to understand how easy it makes the process of creating applications. However, there's one issue with Maestro, and that's the context limit and API pricing. Because so many requests are made to the API, the pricing for running these things can be insane. For instance, Claude 3.5 Sonnet costs $15 per million tokens for output and $3 per million tokens for input, which is very high. The same goes for other providers like OpenAI and similar services. Even if you could pay that amount, the context limit can become a challenge when making larger applications with Maestro. But today, I have a solution that can address these issues while having a similar model, and that's Gemini, specifically Gemini 1.5 Flash, and to some extent, Pro as well. Gemini 1.5 Flash is one of the cheapest and fastest models by Google, and it's actually quite good. It ranks among the leading models on the leaderboards. So, I think it should be quite useful. It also has a 1 million token context window, which is pretty cool for larger applications. The pricing is also cheap for input. It costs 35 cents per million tokens if the context is within 128k tokens, and if it goes above 128k, then it costs 70 cents. Also, the output only costs $1.05 and $2.10 respectively, which is quite cool. So today, I'll be trying out the Gemini 1.5 Flash model to see if it can give the same results as Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I'll also be trying out the Gemini 1.5 Pro model to see how it performs as well. Additionally, if you use it efficiently, you can get away with the free tier of these models, which is quite cool. Using it with Maestro should also be pretty easy because the Maestro framework already has an any API file that we can use to connect it with Gemini. So, let's get started and check it out. First, let's get the Maestro repo cloned on your computer. Once done, open the any API file. The any API model comes pre-configured with the Gemini Flash model. Here, we just need to enter the Gemini API key. You can get the API key from Gemini AI Studio and paste it here. Once done, go back to the terminal. Now, run this peep install command. Once done, the requirements for this will get installed. Once that's also done, we can now use it. To use it, just run the Maestro Any API file. Now, you'll be asked what you want to create. Let's first ask it to create a snake game in HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's see if it can make it. It's generating the tasks. Now, it has generated the tasks and is assigning them to sub-agents. Let's wait for a bit. A few minutes later. Okay, the task is now done. Let's look at it. As you can see, the best part about Maestro is that it keeps everything in one folder and arranges everything, which is quite cool. I really like this part of it. But now let's check it out. This looks pretty cool. I mean, it's basic, but for some reason, it chose a dark aesthetic, which is quite interesting. It works pretty fine, although it doesn't show a pop-up message when the game's over. But it's pretty much functional. Now, Let's ask it to generate a modern and minimal landing page. Let's send the prompt over here. Okay, it's getting generated now. We'll need to wait for a bit again. 
A few minutes later. Okay, we have the code over here. It's again arranged neatly. Let's run it. This looks pretty cool. Although it's also a little basic, overall, it's pretty usable. And with better prompting, you can get even better generation, which is quite cool. So now, let's try and ask it to make a modern minimal to-do app. Okay, let's send the prompt over here. It's getting generated now. So, we'll need to wait for a bit. A few minutes later. Okay, so it has generated the code. We have the code over here. Let's run it and check it out. Okay, this one is the best generation, I think. It has all the high, low, medium drop-downs, date, time, and filters. It's the best app I have seen generated so far. So, this was pretty cool. But, I also want to try out the Gemini 1.5 Pro model, because that's the best model, and I want to see if there's any big difference between them. So, to do that, just open up the Any API file and change the Flash model to the Pro model. Once done, go back to the terminal and rerun the Maestro Any API file. Now, let's ask it to make a to-do app first, then we'll ask it to make a snake game. Anyway, let's send the prompt over here. Okay, it's getting generated now. Let's wait for a minute. A few minutes later. Okay. We have the code over here. Let's run it and see. Okay, it's quite basic as well. I liked the flash generation more, but this one's also usable and pretty cool. Now, let's ask it to create a snake game. Let's send the prompt over here. It's getting generated. Let's wait for a bit. A few minutes later. Okay, we have the code generated now. Let's run it and look at it. Okay. This one's also very basic. The Gemini Flash one was really amazing, but this is not up there. I think it's just luck, because sometimes the agents create better tasks, which lead to better generation. But, I think Pro, being superior, should be able to handle complex applications as well. Honestly, I don't think there's much difference between the Pro and Flash models. In an agentic way, both perform similarly, which is quite cool. So, I think you should generally use the Flash model. Also, I think this has very similar generations to Sonnet. So, I don't think you should splurge your money on that either. The Flash model is much better. Or if you want even better results, you can mix and match the models as well. That would also be pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make a video where I find the best mix and match models for tasks. Also, let me know if you want me to make a co-pilot with the Gemini Flash model. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, Bye.